day about how, you know, our life's a journey. Well, in business terms, we could call it a work in progress. But I have a talk that I often share that's called Life's a Journey, Not a Destination. It's not about an age. It's about our thinking in our, in our heads and our hearts. And in business of life, there are times we can be tempted that we've arrived. Uh, the day you start a job, the day you get married, the day you open a business, the day you get promoted, you win a new account, you buy something, you sell something. And you think, well, I've arrived, but actually you've just started. And life doesn't finish with us until we're dead. Uh, and there's a danger of drawing back. And businesses face this all the time. People face it in their careers. They want to settle down. They want to relax. Or they, they want to just let things go. And that's where compromise comes in and we lose momentum. There were many times in the advertising agency industry uh, where we used to, over many months, would prepare and win a major account. And on the day that we announced that we'd won the account, it's almost like everyone going, oh. but actually as a leader, I learned that I had to re-energise and regenerate people uh, to move forward almost immediate from that uh, win because you become complacent. You take your eye off the ball. You stop supporting the existing clients. So you end up with a door one where one client's coming in and you've got clients leaving the other end. And it stops the growth and means effectively you're dying, you're not being regenerated, you're not learning new things. And uh, I used to see in advertising agency two agencies merge, double the size. Um, but because of the small thinking and the ceiling mentality of the leader of that agency, you would see the two agencies shrink back to one size, uh, back to the size of the original agency because they couldn't manage that growth and expansion because it was like we've doubled our business, we're now into let's settle down, let's close the doors um, and they stop learning uh, and they stop thinking and they stop being challenged and we've got to not relax and lose enthusiasm um, and we need to move forward. So I'm always challenging people that if they want to grow, for your business to grow, your relationships to grow, you need to have a commitment to learn and grow. So here's a few tips on how you do that. Number one, when you hear a speaker, take notes. It might only be a few things that you jot down, but it gives you ideas and it challenges you, your thinking. You may not agree with them, but write down why you don't agree. You'll be amazing how much you'll learn. Number two, learn to use your car as a university. Get hold of podcasts, CDs, play them in the car. Have them leadership principles, business ideas. Um, whatever it is, learn to be challenged in listening to good messages that are going to help you, not just motivational speakers. Number three, uh, read and learn. There are lots of books and materials by those who've actually done it. Get hold of some of those and see and be challenged by some of the ways they went about it. Number four, apply at least one idea. It's great writing something down, but whatever you read or listen to, something sparked your interest, take hold of that and build it into your relationship or your career or your business. And number five, sow positive things into every day. It's easy to be negative. It's easy to be influenced by the negative stuff in the media and by other people that are down, but learn to be someone that is encourages with good reports not bad reports and stop comparing yourself you know with other people just because they're down and they're talking about how business is down don't allow that to get into your spirit learn to be able to be positive and don't neglect what's important in your life as you're learning as you're growing remember if you fail to learn and grow your relationships your own character Nothing we build is likely to stand because it's on the wrong foundation. So don't neglect your spirit. Learn to grow in every aspect of your life along the journey. And enjoy the day and remember to be positive and encouraging and sow good things into people's lives and into your business and your career. Thank you.